Hey, this is Josh with Sun South Dothan on this beautiful afternoon here, getting ready for fall. Wanted to talk to you today about two tractors. We got right here on my left is the John Deere 1025R, subcompact tractor. And then on my right, we've got the 3025E. Today we want to talk about comparisons. So both of these tractors are 25 horsepower tractors. Now, which one would you pick? Which one do you need to do different things? So let's break down some of those important things that makes this one better over this one, or this one better over that one, and what works. So let's start with the 1025R. Now the 1025R is part of John Deere's subcompact line. Small frame tractors. On this tractor with the 120R front end loader, this is a quick detach bucket. What that means is you can take the bucket off from the seat of the tractor. Really nice feature if you need to mow grass or you got some other jobs where you don't want the loader to stick out or get in the way, you can take this loader off really quick. Also on the 1025R, they offer a mid-mount PTO. So you can get a 54 or 60 inch drive over deck. Super easy to auto connect the deck. You can connect the deck just by sitting on the tractor. It's a drive over deck, really sharp. Now a lot of people ask us, what's the big difference between the E, M, and R kind of theory? Well, our R lines, which this is, is the 1025R, our R lines is more of your premium package. So in the R tractors, you're gonna have your fully suspension seat. This is a fully suspension seat. You've got your armrest. Also, really neat, you've got the John Deere emblem that's actually sewn in into the seat. So you get that more premium feel. You've also got a tilt steering. On the R series, you've got load lights. So on your left and right side, you've got load lights. On the R series, and even when you step up to the two series, or the three, or the fours, or throughout John Deere's product line, your R series is gonna be your premium features. Okay, on this 1025R, it's a 25 engine horsepower, it's factory installed bucket, um, like I said, you've got your three-point hitch, so you can do four-foot, five-foot implements. If you want a five-foot, four-foot rotary cutter, uh, your grooming mowers. There's a lot of implements that you can do behind this tractor. Um, this is more than just your glorified lawnmower. This tractor is pretty powerful. It'll do a lot of different things. If you've got small gardening, um, especially in governmental sales that I'm in, a lot of my schools use these tractors for their greenhouses, um, for doing like tunnel houses, doing small food plots and stuff like that. These tractors are perfect for that. You can let this roll bar down and that gives you a lot of clearance to get into small tight places. So this tractor is perfect for this. Um, when you get over to the three series, this is a three E 25 horsepower. Now the E doesn't mean lower end specs, nowhere. It just means it's equipped with just the basic functionalities of operating and working. It doesn't mean it's, it's been shortchanged. On this E-Series tractor, you've got a heavier duty three-point hitch. Um, on the three E-Series, you've got your standard seat. This is a hydrostatic transmission. So both these tractors are hydrostatic transmissions, which we have the twin touch pedal system. One pedal to go forward, one pedal to go back. Also on the E-Series, you got the open platform, so you don't have to get over a hump. You have a level platform, which gives you plenty of operating room. Um, on the 25, it does come factory installed with a loader, which is the 300E loader. But this is a stationary loader, so you cannot remove the actual loader mast or frames. You can remove the bucket. So if you wanted to set a pallet forks, you could do that. I know with these three E tractors in our 25, 32, and 38 horsepower, we sell a lot of these for grapples. 
So we can equip this tractor with a third function and you can put a grapple on it for moving debris, moving limbs, anything like that that you needed to clean up your yards with. So in this comparison, you can see there's a lot of things that these tractors can do. Five foot, six foot equipment on the 25 3E. It's got the heavy duty frame, four wheel drive. There's a lot of things you can do with these tractors. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial on the difference between the 1025R and the 3025E. Listen, if we can be in assistance, if you need any help, call us at SunSouth Dothan. We'll be glad to help you.